Hey, what up? Welcome. 19. Part 19. 19 videos so far of building this truck. Ugh, I can't believe that. We're getting so close. So, um, number one, if you're new to the channel, if you don't even know what this build is, I strongly suggest go back one year I started on this truck. Go back, check out parts 1 through 18 of this and see every step of the process of building what I think is gonna be the baddest Ranger, truggy, off-road truck that I've ever built. Potentially the baddest one out there. I just wanna throw that out there. So anyway, sit tight, tune in, and let's check out and see what I'm doing. Yes, I'm still doing the wiring, so let's get into it. All right, so picking up where we left off in the last video. Yeah, I'm still doing wiring. I did get the last of the uh, kill mat in. Got a little bit more uh, wiring ran in here. Still working on the dash. And I did finish, finally, the stereo system. If you want, we can walk around and uh, we can check that out. So yeah, I had the, uh, the stereo working in the last video. Sounded really, really good. But uh, <laughs> um, when I when I played it for Lisa, I played it for the wife. Her first reaction was, "Is it gonna have any bass?" So that kind of hurt a little bit. So anyway, I fixed it. We have bass now. I ended up picking up this is the JBL. It's called a Bass Pro Nano. That is a little six by eight. I think you can kind of see it through the grill. It's a little six by eight subwoofer, powered 200 watt. Man, it just it fits perfect. Um, super easy to wire in. Um, I love it. It sounds absolutely amazing. It's exactly what the system needed. Um, I can't believe how much bass that little thing puts out. So it's going to be great inside the cab of this truck. So very happy with that. So the stereo system now, I'm going to say, is completely checked off the list. So moving on. I'm still doing all the wiring, running stuff from front to back, getting all my circuits in. I did get so this is a fan relay for the transmission cooler. That's all wired in. Wires routed through the body. So I just gotta wire that up to the fan underneath the, the tube bed. And I threw the seat back in to uh, do some mock-up. Um, just now starting on the center console and getting the transmission shifter mounted up. So I um, picked up some 3 quarter inch square tubing from the hardware and just kind of building a little skeleton of a framework for a center console that'll work in conjunction with that factory uh, Ford Explorer armrest. Um, I have an idea in my head <laughs> on how it's gonna turn out and how it's gonna look. Um, it should be pretty cool, I hope. Um, hopefully everything uh, turns out the way I, I uh, envision it in my head. So anyway, I've already started the framework for that, kind of tacking some stuff together test fitting things, make sure it's going to be easy to get in and out. And uh, let's take a look, see where I'm at with that so far. So right here, on my mess of a welding table, there's the beginnings of a center console. Just kind of kind of threw it in there, cut up some tubing, made everything fit around the uh, transfer case shifters. This portion right here meets the bottom of the dash, right below where my other uh, center switch panel is going to be. And um, what I'm going to do is this piece right here is going to go right there. There'll be two pieces that'll come up seven inches. And then from there, it'll connect to there. And on that surface there is where the shifter is going to get mounted. And then from here back, it'll just be flat. And then the uh, fold down armrest will be right over top of that. And then uh, I have, um, like I said, I have one more switch panel to put in this and the switch for the overdrive for the transmission. So not a lot to go in this, but uh, getting the shifter mounted correctly is going to take a little bit of thinking. So I want to make sure that turns out right. So anyway, that's where I'm at with this. So I'm going to keep plucking along. Let's get some more wiring done. Let's get this console done. And uh, 
let's just uh, get it done. So there, there's the part of it that's going to meet the dash. It's kind of got the shifter just kind of sitting on there, but that's pretty much how it's going to be mounted in there. I like it. Looks pretty cool. And this right here, I just got to throw it back in there to see how far back I got to go to the, the armrest. And that'll just be another flat piece. And then probably somewhere right in here, on top of that, these are my backup lights. And then probably somewhere right here will be a switch for the overdrive, I'm thinking. So, yeah, I like it. Okay, here's a little mock-up. That's basically where the shifter is going to go. Got clearance for the twin sticks. No problems there. Just put a little piece of foam padding there between the dash and the console there. And then uh, see from the other side. So what we'll do is I'll uh, extend this out here, bring it down, and that'll be all framed in. And I'll I'll probably get some real thin, like maybe some Lou on board or something, and that's what I'll uh, I'll pad and wrap. But these side panels will they'll come all the way back to here and extend all the way, probably up to the heater box actually to cover all that up. And I'll make them side panels uh, removable so I can get to anything inside there that I want. But yeah, should work out pretty good. Overdrive switch down here somewhere. Right here will be my last two toggle switches for my backup lights. And uh, the top of it, it'll probably be out of the same textured ABS plastic, so that all kind of ties together. And uh, I don't know, right now I'm kind of thinking the sides, uh, the, the covers that I make for those, I might, if I have enough material left over, I may go ahead and use that, tie it all in together, you know? So anyway, there is where we're at so far. So for mounting the center console, I welded six tabs on the, uh, the bottom of the console, and then I put nut certs in the tunnel. That hole was already there for that plate, so I just picked up that one, that one there, and all the way back there. So then the console, you see the tabs that I added, six of those. That should be pretty damn sturdy holding that in. So that should be good. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish the uh, back portion of this right here. And at that point, I think I'm pretty much ready. I can uh, get it coated, get some paint on it, because I don't think there'll be any more welding on it. The rest of it will just be, uh, well, actually, you know what? No, i got to mount the shifter. That might require a little welding something on there. So yeah, so let me figure that out and get the shifter mounted to it. So there's the basic framework is done. Just made a nice little finished corner right there. Some angle iron. That'll make it easier when I make the panels. I can just make a flat panel for this side and a flat panel for that side and one continuous one on the other side. So it's gonna make it easier for me. So and then what I'm gonna do is so on the top here this is where the arm the armrest is going to fold down over top of. There'll be a textured piece of plastic. It's going to sit right there. So there will be my backup lights. The two on the uh, rear spring hangers and then the one in the uh, chase light. And then I have a buddy, the 3D printer, that uh, I'm going to see if he can make me up a little storage pocket right here to fit down inside there. I don't know three quarters to an inch deep because there's nothing going to be underneath here. I have all that room. It might be a good little spot to throw change, throw keys, whatever. Maybe even the, the wireless keypad for my uh, Raspberry Pi would be a good spot for it to sit. So it's another little uh, trying to use that space for something, you know. So next I'm going to figure out how to mount the shifter to that. All right. That is the finished framework. Turned out pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. Shifter, I just uh, 
drilled some holes big enough to get some cap screws through, drilled through the tube, and then they uh, they pick up the framework of the shifter. So that's uh, mounted in there real good and sturdy. So I like that. Like I said, I'll have uh, ABS plastic. It'll be all covered that. Shifter will sit right on top of it. Should look nice. It'll blend right in with the rest of the dash. And then this piece here, like I said, I showed you the other one, a little cardboard template I made. I'll have a little uh, cubby hole, a little storage in there, switch panel, overdrive switch is going in there. And uh, man, the only thing I gotta figure out yet still is where the hell I'm gonna mount my two-way radio. I still haven't, uh, <laughs> a good spot hasn't jumped out to me for that just yet. So I don't know, maybe it'll, uh, maybe I'll put it on the, back side of this panel here. I don't think it'll intrude with the passenger's legs at all. That might be a good place to put it on that panel there. So yeah, we'll think about that. So there it is. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. I'm going to clean it up, hit it with some flap wheel, get some of the booger welds and sharp edges off of it, get it coated in some paint. And then, uh, yeah, I'm still waiting on the I don't have any of the material to make the panels yet. Still waiting for it to show up. So I think I'll just move on to more wiring stuff until we get the rest of that stuff in. So anyway, there it is. Very happy with it. Okay, so framework is all painted. And I went down to the hardware store. And I grabbed me some construction paper. And I made me some templates to make some panels. So. I've already uh, kind of cut them up, had to make them work with the uh, little pieces of wood that the hardware store had. So anyway, I traced those out onto these pieces of wood. This is some really thin, thin stuff here the hardware store sells. So I got everything kind of traced out. Um, I'm going to have to glue a couple pieces together to, to make it all work. Shouldn't be a big deal, but... Like you got two of these, so it should work real good. Just got to hurry up, cut the rest of these. I'm just using a little uh, body saw, the fine blade on it. It's cutting real good. So I'll get all these cut up, and then the pieces that need to be glued together, I'll get them glued up tonight and uh, let them set overnight. just like a uh, jigsaw puzzle for uh, grown-ups. I just got to piece everything together and uh, get out the glue. So easy enough. Just get on it. Okay, I got the panels all test fit, screws in them, so that way I have all the holes pre-drilled. So when I go ahead and I cover the panels, all I got to do is poke the holes back through from the back side and everything should line right back up. I actually found this piece. I had this one random piece of uh, ABS, kind of. It's literally almost the perfect size to use, but kind of give you an idea of how it'll look with the dash. It's kind of cool. But anyway, so I'm going to pull this back out. Everything still fits. I can pull it in and out, no problem. So I think I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to start covering the four individual panels separately. So that way I can um, I can put these back panels on. They'll be done because obviously once the seats are in you can't get to those. But the front two panels on either side, um, those I can take on and off. No big deal with the seats in the truck still. So um, yeah, so let's uh, pull it out and uh, come up with a plan to start covering these. 
All right, had to come down to my basement here, use a, a clean table down here, because I don't have one in the garage. So anyway, I got this uh, foam-backed headliner material. So I went ahead and laid this out, cut a pattern, and then we'll go ahead, glue them together. I have one done. There we go. So, go ahead and finish the other three, and then we'll move on to the fabric. All right, so I got my patterns for the fabric all cut out. Basically just laid the, uh, the panels with the uh, padding side down, and I just spray glued all around the perimeter here, then up onto the board. So the back side of it is loose. The fabric... The two pieces of fabric are not glued together. It just makes for a smoother, smoother appearance, less wrinkles. So, um, yeah, I'll just fold the corners up. See, those are done. It's turned out good. Actually, here, I'll show you. Bam, look at that. I think it'd be pretty cool. So, just got to spray it, let it tack up, let it dry for a couple minutes before you go... Uh, um, adhering them to each other and then that's it all right there it is <laughs> I like it I like it because headliner council amp rack back wall heck yeah that'll look really good once the black carpet or the black rubber floor is in here that'll all look really good I think that turned out like how this side goes up all the way to the heater box just enough room there for the floor vent everything ties in very happy pretty much how I envisioned it in my head so it's got to wait for that plastic to show up then I can go ahead and I can finish the rest of it but it should turn out pretty cool once the seats are in here the rubber floors oh very excited Love it. All right. Well, it's been a few days since that last video clip. Um, where I left off is is uh, shifter mounted, cable routed. Put a hole in the floor, routed the cable over to the trans. Everything works like it should. But I ran into another problem. This uh, this transmission, this AOD, has just opened Pandora's box for me. Um, there's been some other issues going on that I haven't addressed in any of the videos yet. Um, the time has come. It won't be in this video, but the next video is going to be a doozy. So unfortunately... Um, this is the end of this video. We're not going to see the completion of the console, the seats, the interior. Um, unfortunately, it's looking like I may have to take a couple steps backwards. So uh, that's the end of this video. Unfortunately, hopefully you found it entertaining up to this point. Um, but yeah, I got some major uh, major changes I got to make. Really got to come up with a, a good plan on what I got to do next here. So. Um, I've already been doing some research and I think my answer for my problem is going to be pretty cool. But you're going to have to tune into the next video. So I got you on the hook. Come back to the next video. The next video is going to be a doozy. It's going to be about all the, uh, the bad things and the horrors of building a custom vehicle from scratch. So, hey, things don't always go as planned. Stuff happens. You got to make changes. got to adapt and overcome. So that's what I plan to do. So anyway... That's a wrap for this video. Uh, hopefully I'll see you back on the next one and kind of explain what the hell's going on with all of this. And uh, things are about to get interesting. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go eat some tacos. So, catch you on the next one. <laughs>